Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Prophecy the Viking Child. Ooh, lots to unpack there. Man, this is one of those games where reading the title, I cannot even begin to guess what kind of game it is. So we're going to have to rely pretty heavily on research. Also known as Prophecy 1 of the Viking Child, the game was released in 1991 for an interesting variety of systems. In addition to the Game Boy, it also hit the Amiga, Atari ST, DOS, and bizarrely enough, the Atari Lynx, which was Atari's answer to the Game Boy, except considerably bigger and somehow used even more batteries. The game was developed by Imagitech Design Limited, a company from the UK whose most notable game would probably be the third game in the Bubsy franchise. Ooh, that's not a good sign. There are some other interesting things about this game, though. The music was done by Barry Leitch, who had quite a history of soundtracks in gaming, from the Gauntlet series to one of my favorite odd little PS1 gems, Spider. The game was also supposed to come to Game Gear, Sega Master System, and Commodore 64, and have a sequel, but none of them panned out. So what we have here is a bizarre little anomaly of gaming. Maybe not well known, but with enough backstory that makes it stand out more. And most importantly, the main character's name is Brian. Yes, finally, someone made a game about me. Look, what do you want from me? I really can't find much info about this game. I'm just as in the dark as you guys are. So once again, we turn to box art, and we're greeted with absolute gold. Look at the artistry, the style, the dragons, the volcano, the font. It's all just shockingly well done. Also, action and adventure in the land of Odin. I hope there's a buffet, too. Time for another look at a game I've never heard of. I foresee a look at Prophecy, the Viking Child. Ooh, groovy. Music's good. Prophecy, the Viking Child. Is, is that him? Is that me? That's Brian, isn't it? That's not what my hair looks like at all, although I do have one giant triangle tooth. Also, that dragon looks really intense, and that mushroom is... Oof, no comment. Let's do this. Oh, that's... A okay, that's kind of cute. The Viking Child. This font is practically unreadable. Oh, but 10 out of 10 for having a hand instead of an arrow. I love that. Get ready! It's him, the Viking child. A what? Okay, so this is one of those games where B jumps and A attacks. It's, it's backwards. Okay, I have 99 of something. I have nine eggs down there. There's a bell sprout. What just happened to me? Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, I'm suddenly having disaster vibes. Select weapon. Oh, there's a weapon select. That's nice. I, I just have this... Carrot? Music is phenomenal. I love this. But everything else... I like how the main thing animated on him is feet and hair flap. The jumping is okay. A little stiff. The attacking, though, is terrible. Is that one of those new Pokemon? Oh, this is one of those games where it's very difficult to actually... What is that? I suddenly, like, become very thin and spindly and weird. Oh, the attack is useless. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on, a door. There's something in here. Let me in. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I can't actually choose a heart or several hearts. I don't have enough gold. I was about to ask if the music ran out, but no, there's just an audible change between restarting the song. What even am I looking at? What is that thing? So, so here's the big problem. There's no feedback when you use your sword. Like, there's no hit. There's nothing. So watch. The enemy doesn't react until it dies. What? Oh, these... These aren't in the background. These are spikes. What? Oh, man. This is... Actually, really bad. So there's no feedback when hitting. There's no sound effects either. I'm just realizing it's all the music. Granted, the music's good, but there's nothing like that sounds cool or sounds decent or sounds bad or sounds anything. There's just no sound effects. Whoa. It feels like they ported the game from the original like consoles or PCs or whatever and changed literally nothing. Oh, I, I got touched. You are doomed. 
Oh, god damn it. I have to start the whole thing over. Well, now I know combat is entirely pointless to get into. Although I guess you do get money for it. So like in most games, if I hit the enemy there, it would bounce back a little bit. So I'd be able to, I don't know, get, get a couple hits in without it hitting me. Here, there's no way to avoid getting hit if you're in combat. There were some really good games for the, you know, Atari ST and Amiga and stuff. This, this appears to not be one of them. Again, though, music is phenomenal. Good work, Barry. Look, I want to see what else the game can throw at me, but I don't think it's going to be anything. Like, I always try to play enough to see a boss, but how is a boss going to improve this? Oh, my God. So the enemies have no knockback, but you get knocked back ridiculously far. Also, their hitbox is way bigger than them. Okay, I got my life back, but now I'm out of lives. What? Did anyone see that? I was just in the air and my health went down. This time I have one goal. Finish this level and see uh, the boss. If there even is a boss. This does kind of seem like the game where there's not going to be a boss. Yeah, I'm not sure how to avoid those things. They seem to have a very large hitbox above them. Oh, and they can walk backwards now. Man, this has just ended up being massively disappointing. Okay, here we go. Boss time. It's a frog. See? He, it has some feedback. But also, it can easily hit me when I hit it. Okay, we're dead. You are doomed. Man, I was actually kind of looking forward to this. I love finding total unknown games, and like I said, based on the title and, and the box art, I was like, this could be great. But no, it's actually pretty awful. It doesn't look good. It doesn't play good. It sounds lovely music-wise, but that's about it. Thankfully, the music is good enough that I could just, I don't know, stand here and groove to it for a while. This is the most fun part of the game. This is one of those prophecies that ended up being a bust, just like 2012. There's really no need to mince words here. This game was really, really bad. It's the kind of game that brings absolutely nothing interesting, fun, or even decently designed to the table. Well, it does one thing really well, but we'll get to that later. The gameplay was as basic as you can get, with boring platforming through boring levels, but the fact that it's controlled so terribly turned that boredom into frustration, with awkward jumping and terrible combat that made it impossible to hit enemies without them hitting you too. It's one of those games that's a perfect point-by-point -point list of how not to make a platformer, because it just does nothing right gameplay-wise. I will admit, though, it did one thing right, the music. Barry Lage's soundtrack was pretty excellent, and by far the only thing about this game that's worth your time, which is why it's so weird that there's absolutely no sound effects, which makes the already non-impact your attacks have even worse. Out of curiosity, I looked up the original version of the game, and it honestly doesn't look like they changed anything. The combat, the music, and even the lack of sound effects were all the same. So I don't think this is a case of a port doing the original game dirty. If anything, this is an extremely well done port. It's just the source material was maybe not that good. So it really had nowhere to go unless it drastically changed things, which this game didn't. So the general gist here is that Prophecy the Viking Child is a total miss. It's a low-quality platformer whose only redeeming quality is the really excellent soundtrack, but hey, you can listen to that without having to play the game. And the worst thing about all this? This game positively slanders the good name Brian. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.